Hey, welcome back. So before we get to that Wi-Fi security video number four, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Edge Max Edge OS 1.9 that was released. I had to actually order a part from Amazon to do the the fourth video in that installation, but I promise you'll like it once it comes in. So let's take a look at this. So as you know, we were going to do a series on 1.8.5 and all the new features with that and now by the time I got around to doing that or starting that now one uh, version 1.9 is out so let's just take a, a quick look at this and you can see some of the uh, notable features and enhancements here uh, you have new basic Q QoS feature for configuring simple quality of service policies IPsec crypt crypto offload support for the edge router X platform New support for VLAN and DHCP version 6 PD options. So they added that into the, the web interface. New switch setup wizard for the Edge Router X platform. So you can actually, uh, I'll actually scroll down and show you that here in just a second. And use kernel mode for L, L2TP IPsec server for improved performance. Now, I was running the beta of 1.9 and I haven't done any production 1.9 installs yet, but we're going to upgrade one here uh, live and see what happens. But first we'll scroll down and the one thing that I'm really excited about actually is the the switch config. Oh yeah, here it is. So web UI add switch setup wizard for the Edge Router X platform to simplify the task of setting up the device as a simple layer 2 switch. So that's utilizing all the ports on the device so it looks like they actually have a wizard for that now, which is, which is fantastic. So I mean, I don't know where else you can get a five-port switch for forty-nine dollars that has the capability of the Edge Router X. Um, there are some other lower-end switches that are not ubiquity devices, and that's actually what I ordered from Amazon for part four of our Wi-Fi security. So you'll see that. But with this and one point nine, I may end up scrapping that other device and using ubiquity across the board so I mean there's a very high like you know high probability of that actually happening so but um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cruise on over to um, HTTPS colon slash slash www.ubnt.com slash download we're gonna go to the edge max section and then when you go to this you'll see um, Edge Router firmware version 1.9 and we are going to download it for an Edge Router X so that guy is going to download and we will pull up our system screen And while that's still downloading, we're going to go ahead and download a, a backup of our configuration in case things go south on us. There was one other thing I think I wanted to talk about, about the edge router. Eh, I know what it was. So real quick, while we're waiting for that to download, we are going to SSH uh, into the edge router that we're going to upgrade. But what I wanted to talk about is I'm a huge fan of the web interface that Ubiquiti has created and I think it's it's second to none as far as networking devices go. But there are some pretty powerful powerful tools in the command line too that you should get used to. And one of those I want to talk about is the uh, when we're in the con configure mode is we can do a um, a commit confirm and what that does is if we make some changes and, and we're not a hundred percent sure about them or the changes actually cause us to lose connection to that device what you can do is you can use the commit confirm and by default if you see right here it says uh, if there's no commit entered uh, no confirm com uh, entered in 10 minutes it'll roll the config back or 
you can specify the amount of minutes. So if you're working remotely and you're not 100% sure what's going to happen, you can use this commit confirm as kind of a fail safe so that if, if things go south on you, you can just wait the specified amount of time and the config will automatically roll back because you did not confirm it. So play around with the, uh, the command line. This is a very, very powerful tool, and where I first ran into something kind of like this was within, uh, with Juniper and Juno S. They actually have uh, a similar command, and it blows uh, Cisco out of the water. I don't know if iOS 15 has this or not. iOS 12, which is what I was used to working on, did not have this. So um, luckily, a couple of times when I was hundreds of miles you know, away from a router, somebody was there, and I was able to walk them through entering commands on a router. Uh, with this command, you don't really have to do that. So, you know, get to know the, the command line a little bit. Uh, the GUI is powerful too, but uh, definitely some, some commands that can save our bacon um, in the command line. So, there's our uh, version 1.9. We've downloaded our, our backup. We're going to go ahead and upload... There we go. Uh, in order for the changes to take effect, you'll have to reboot. Why not? Yes, we're sure. So we got kicked out of the uh, SSH session. So we'll just start a ping, and when this guy comes back up, we'll we'll reload it. Log in. Okay, that that wizard. Oh, look at that. Well, look at this. There's a basic setup. Use this wizard to set up basic internet connectivity and to customize local network settings. So it kind of looks like the WAN. Interesting. But here's that switch. Um, that switch wizard. So use this VPN to set up the device as a simple layer 2 switch. So you can configure uh, the management IP so you can still get in. You can make you know set it up so it's VLAN aware. This is this is fantastic. So um, VPN site to site. Uh, yeah, hmm, the, uh, the interface is gone there, that's interesting, uh, so my question is, does anybody know, does it just listen on all interfaces? I mean, that would be my assumption, or does it automatically listen on what's configured as the WAN interface? If anybody out there in Radioland knows, please uh, put it down there in the comments. Uh, if you've got any any more questions, remember uh, I do do consulting, um, and I appreciate all of you who have been sending me messages asking for help and uh, using my services. I am going to re be redoing the channel graphics a little bit to reflect that and be adding a, a trailer to the videos. So um, if you've got any questions, please you know put them below in the, in the comments. Send me an email. Um, so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And I will see you at the next video.